a different type of video than I usually do, but I've recently got, obtained an HTC Vive and I was playing around in Unity and I created what I think is a really cool demo as a way to visualize data from Pergeos, Avisa, or other software. So the idea is you can input any OBJ file and it will allow you to walk around, teleport around, and lower and raise the OBJ file so you can like analyze it exactly. Like this is just the beginning for me. Like I hope to add in the future many more different things like a way to measure two points in it or stuff like that. But this is just like a starting point for me. So I created this demo with some data I got from the advanced light source. This is, I believe, some sort of claw. I don't exactly know what animal it came from, but this is a really interesting STO OBJ file because it has a very cool place where you can look through it. If we look right here. And there are many different things that are very interesting about it. One was, so this OBJ file, is only 50 megabytes, but the original one was 1.2 gigabytes. So that is still a problem I'm dealing with of how big a file size we can really use in Unity, especially with VR. My computer is pretty underpowered, so I have to keep the file size is re relatively low. But if you, let's say, have a very powerful computer, you could use much bigger file sizes. So to start out, I wanna show you this in VR. So let's make sure my vibe is ready for this. And then I'm going to click Max Buzz and Play. And I'm just going to click Play, okay? So, as you can see, I'm just going to take a putting on my vibe now. And I'm in this virtual world, and I have two controllers. One allows me to move the claw up and down, and the other allows me to teleport around the claw and look inside of it. See here, I can see just every little detail of this claw. I can like bend down and see like, like what do I think this is? I don't really, I'm not, I don't really, I'm not an authority in claws, but this is really just cool to me to be able to see all these different parts of the claw and be able, I think raising and lowering it is super important because it allows you to change your view angle in future releases, I also want to add the ability to rotate the um, entire claw around, but currently that proved too difficult for me because I'm a very new novice to Unity. But it's one thing that's really fun for me is just to walk around it and just to look at every different side of it because I feel like you can get a really unique perspective from VR. Like, I don't really know what these are. To, um, you can comment in the comments if you know more about claws than me and have some ideas for what type of animal claw this is or like what different parts of this of this claw are. Okay. My future plan for this is to be able to take this and use it for anything. Like be able to take make a really easy workflow for scientists. So you scan something, you upload it to FEIs, Pergeos, or Viso, or some data analysis software, and then you can export an OBJ file and just view it in VR. And just, oh, I think it will become a much more conducive to like really seeing more about the model instead of seeing it in a 2D world, seeing it in a 3D world. All right. Thanks so much. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.